In Matthew 8, verse 13, it says, Be it done for you as you have believed. We do not believe big enough. Usually we believe in small things, not big things. Well, I ask you to dare to believe bigger than you have. The word dare means to be fearless, to have courage, boldness enough to do something. Dare to believe. Put what you believe into action. And take this challenge. Belief must become action if you are to realize something great in your life. For instance, if you're to realize healing, if you are to put the most into life and get the most out of life, well, then you have to have the correct concept of God. And you can, just as Jesus did, dare to believe that all things are possible. Jesus taught that if we believe, we experience a more abundant and a fulfilling life. Well, let us then come into a faith that we can accept as entirely dependable. Let us dare to believe that we as spiritual beings created in God's image and likeness, well, we can do things that we would ordinarily <laughs> not think is possible in human mind. Let us dare to believe that the life force of God is within us, and it's ever renewing and ever recreating, and that God is our unfailing resource. Let us dare to put into our belief our actions and accept ourselves as children of a kind and a loving God. Let us dare to believe the truth of God, that it is possible, that it will be possible in our lives. Today, we dare to believe. We dare to believe bigger. We dare to believe grander. We dare to believe in a, in a vista that is beyond what we can see right now with human eyes. But because we believe in God, we believe that great things are in store.